When the F-22 Raptor entered service in 2005, it was almost alien. It featured capabilities that had never been seen on any fighter before it, nor on any fighter after it. It brought the United States unrivaled air dominance. It was in a league of its own. It was the world's first fifth-generation fighter, and despite three fifth-generation fighters entering service since then, the Raptor remains the indomitable fighter of the skies. Yet the U.S. Air Force wants to retire it. Why? Why retire the most lethal fighter in the world? The answer is not so simple. The Raptor does make a good argument, but so too does the fighter that longs to replace it. This is a video of the two fighters. You decide which should fly in the skies of tomorrow. The F-22 Raptor After half a century of Cold War drama between Washington and Moscow, the U.S. eventually realized that air superiority was a gem untapped by both parties. The U.S. summoned almost all of its largest defense companies and invested billions of dollars into building a fighter that could not be defeated. And so the F-22 Raptor was born, armed with impressive war-dictating capabilities. Stealth Stealth simply refers to how invisible an aircraft is to enemy defense systems such as radar. The Raptor was built to be as stealthy as they come. Lockheed Martin paid attention to the tiniest of details to achieve this, from hiding hinges to the entire airframe shaping. Furthermore, the fighter actively cools its leading edges and features flat thrust vectoring nozzles to reduce infrared emissions and ultimately minimize the threat of heat-seeking missiles. The Raptor is coated rather lavishly with radar-absorbent material to absorb as many radar waves as possible and to prevent them from alerting their operators of foreign presence. To ensure the Raptor remains the stealthiest in the sky, the fighter is fitted with a signature assessment system to alert its operator when the radar signature is degraded and repair is necessary. All of these combine to ensure the Raptor has and maintains a radar cross-section of 0 .0001 meters squared, the same as that of a steel marble. Power Plant the Raptor's power plant consists of two Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 augmented turbofan engines, producing a combined 70,000-pound force of thrust. The engines are closely spaced and incorporate pitch-axis thrust vectoring nozzles for athletic-level agility. They thrust the fighter to a peak altitude of 50,000 feet, a top speed of Mach 2, and a maximum operating range of 2,000 miles, more than half the radius of the planet. With such high speed and altitude, the Raptor is able to fly as fast and as high and as maneuverable as it needs to to evade ground defenses and eliminate threats. Armament To maintain its stealth profile, the F-22 usually holds its weapons internally by default. These weapons are shared across one main bay and two side bays. In the main bay is a combination of up to six 65-mile range Mach 4 flying AIM-120C advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles and 1,000-pound class GPS-guided joint direct attack munitions. In the side bays are two AIM-9 sidewinders with a Mach 2.5 top speed and 22-mile range, an M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon with 480 rounds is also embedded in the airplane's right wing route. When stealth isn't top priority, the Raptor is able to carry extra ammo externally, up to 5,000 pounds on each of its four underwing hardpoints. All of these capabilities and more have made the Raptor the most dominant fighter in the world, from the minute it entered service to this very day. They've also made the Raptor the most expensive fighter in history, with a unit cost of $350 million. The Raptor is, in fact, so special to the Air Force that there's a federal law in place preventing it from being sold or exported to any other country. While America's second fifth-generation fighter, the F-35 Lightning II, is the most exported fifth-generation fighter in the world. However, as said earlier, despite its special status, the Raptor is slated to be retired and replaced in service with a new fighter, a sixth-generation fighter called the NGAD Fighter. Here's a look. NGAD Fighter the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD for short, is the United States' sixth generation program tasked with developing the future generation family of systems that will ensure air superiority for U.S. forces in the most challenging operational environments. 
The members of this family of systems include, among others, new stealth technologies, engines, weapons, UAVs, and a manned sixth-generation fighter. All other systems revolve around this fighter, and it's what will replace the F-22 Raptor in service. Here are the capabilities that the new fighter offers. Advanced Stealth The NGAD fighter will build on the stealth technology of previous American aircraft, fighters, and bombers alike. Like the B-2 Spirit, the stealthiest aircraft in service today, the NGAD fighter will take an overall triangular shape, internally hold its payload, and have no vertical stabilizers. It's the first fighter ever to have such a revolutionary design. Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the B-2 Spirit. Active flow control uses computer brains on board to constantly adjust the flow around the aircraft to keep it airborne, similar to how birds fly. Open Architecture Decades of history have taught the U.S. that an aircraft will always have room to be better no matter how advanced it already is, especially with near-peer adversaries becoming more near-peer by the day. Therefore, the NGAD fighter will come with an open architecture that enables the fighter to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to newer challenges of the battlefield that are introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded. New Spectrum of Weapons The NGAD fighter will be armed to the teeth with weapons the Raptor wields and more. Like the Raptor, the new fighter will wield missiles, bombs, and possibly a massive rotary cannon. Unlike the Raptor, however, the NGAD fighter could wield laser-directed energy weapons that take out threats with high-intensity laser beams. In addition to all these, the NGAD fighter will be escorted into battle with a team of loyal wingmen tasked with performing a series of side missions. These missions could be defensive, such as taking a hit for the manned NGAD fighter, or it could be offensive, such as taking out threats with onboard weapon systems, or it could be some other type of mission, such as surveilling very close to the battlefield, which ultimately protects the NGAD fighter from having to do so. The NGAD fighter will redefine how weapons are employed in battle, it would also weaponize its hypersensitivity by sharing relevant information with all friendlies of the fleet. This keeps the entire American fleet and allies up to date on the battlefield situation and therefore able to make effective, calculated decisions. Having taken a look at the capabilities of the fighters on opposing sides of the ring, is the U.S. Air Force right to retire the F-22 Raptor for the NGAD fighter? While there are multiple factors to consider, it all boils down to which fighter will ensure American dominance for the foreseeable future. The Raptor remains the most dominant fifth-generation fighter in the world today, but near-peer rivals are quickly catching up. China, Russia, and now Turkey have all built and flown fifth-generation fighters that could at least attempt to challenge the Raptor for the crown. In addition to this, Russia, China, and a long list of European nations have also begun working on sixth-generation fighters that would no doubt feature technologies that the Raptor doesn't. The novelty of the fifth generation of fighters is simply worn off, and there's a need for something better from the U.S., else the U.S. will have to play catch up for years to come. It's a race now. With advanced capability, sixth generation fighters are far superior to fifth generation fighters, and whichever nation succeeds in building the most advanced of them will likely end up the king of the skies a title the U.S. is doing everything to maintain, even if that means retiring the most lethal fighter it's ever built. Every era indeed comes to an end. So the Raptor must now bow out, but it does so in the most badass way only the Raptor could do. It becomes the testbed upon which its successor will be built. Therefore, the fifth generation F-22 Raptor lives on in another skin, in another name, and in another generation. The sixth generation. To give this American hero of a fighter the fitting goodbye it deserves, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.